Good morning baby Vogue watchers! Today we're gonna talk about one of your favorite topics, ever! The desktop icons, also known as icons on desktop! And so, let's travel back in time for a bit! With the appropriate sound effect of course! So, num 3.28 and we have this merge request that removes the desktop! Desktop is overrated! Not exactly the full desktop, but only the desktop supporting GNOME files, which it was really a software architectural change rather a per design decision. But the wrath of GNOME community was already there, and in a dramatic turn of events. Both of developers that were involved on this work, were disappeared short after. Instead, GNOME developers provided an alternative solution with an extension, that was also the correct way of doing it, rather having your file manager taking care of the desktop. That extension was also used by default in some versions of Ubuntu, but it was proved of a very low quality, especially because it was lacking drag and drop support between desktop and applications. So it was eventually replaced by this, that has an active development, and it includes some additional features over the old extension and I prepared a very short demo about it. So the extension is enabled already, and we have those icons on desktop. Right click, and we immediately notice we get a GTK3 menu, rather a menu from GNOME Shell. So that is a big difference than the original solution. And all widgets in general is GTK widgets, like this rename. If you're unsure what I meant by shell menus, that's how the old extension was. And apart the visual differences, there is a big difference in the solution design. Long story short, the new extension is virtually a GTK application and an extension that launches it. Back to present time, we can compress our files or do any other operations, although I'm not using the extension so I'm not aware of the limitations. But certainly we can move files, open files, and drag and drop files. So for example we can put this file from desktop to the file manager or do the opposite and place it from the file manager to the desktop. And we have some options too! Like supersizing our icons, which is pretty much the default size in GNOME metrics. But the real question is, are any of those enough? This is how I get rid of my paperwork! <laughs> 